Chen Holland loved his job with the Red Wings, but you could make the case that he loved the Red Wings more, and it was his decision to slide over to allow Iserman to come home and become the next GM. But you could see it at the celebration of Iserman's return that something was gnawing at Holland. He wasn't done GMing. And then the orders called, and his summer home is out that way in British Columbia, and it came together quickly that Edmonton would become his next hockey stop, giving him $5 million a year for five years. This morning, he talked of the present day with our Ken Daniels. I love my time in Detroit. I love my time as a Red Wing. I love the organization. I love the passion of the fans, the passion of the ownership. I was so fortunate to work with so many talented people on the ice uh, and off the ice. And I asked a lot of players to do things for the franchise, for the jersey, take less money, you know, have a reduced role, sacrifice, spend extra time in the minors. It was my time. It was my time to make that decision in the best interest of the of the red of the Red Wings. You know, when Steve stepped down in uh, in in Tampa Bay, I knew it was time. I knew I knew it was time to bring Steve back. And he's a great manager. I got great respect for him on the ice. And I, I've sat in the general managers at meetings in you know November and March, and watched what he did in Tampa Bay. And um, it was time. And Steve may wind up being a big part of your legacy. Well, I know he's back. a big. I know he's a big part of my. You know, he did, he did. You know, can I know the players on the ice do it? And 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 um, you need you need players. And in order to have the success and security and, and and accomplish things as as, a, as whether you're a coach or you're a you're a manager, you need you need players. And Steve was one of those players. You know, there's so many. I'm fortunate to. Have, so many great players, but certainly Steve was one of those great players that did it for our team, for our city, for our franchise on the ice and uh, helped, you know, me have security and long longevity as, a, as an NHL general manager. So I'm forever grateful to him.